sabbatical to to Burugu to Dinky Bowling Cry. <laughs> hey, it's B. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is what we're doing in quarantine. I was craving seafood and I was like, I want a seafood boil. So let's go to my favorite seafood boil place, The Boiling Crab. Shout out to The Boiling Crab in Burbank and everyone there. Love you all. I gotta go in with The Boiling Crab, babe. If you know about that Boiling Crab life, then you know. But if you don't know, get on with it. Um, I hope you are all safe and well, first and foremost. Um, yeah, we are midway through April. I just celebrated a birthday and um, very, like I said, thankful, grateful, and blessed to have not only wonderful people around me, um, but also food to eat. Um, we had a virtual, I had a virtual party um, with a bunch of my friends and family and um, we raised over a thousand dollars in the call uh, in the party um and all the funds are gonna go to a restaurant that well i just gave it away an organization that i align with called the restaurant opportunity center united um and it basically just like helps people that are that work in the service industry like myself um uh, but it helps people that are in need um and communities nationwide so y'all it's hot it's hot is it me no it's you issue or right, i'm hungry so i'm gonna eat this is a skinny margarita um <laughs> you know because we're healthy <laughs> and so yeah cheers to you and i hope you're safe and well and i hope you're eating something good and if you don't go get some real quick so we can eat together <coughs> sorry strong <clears throat> So how are you? How, how's your quarantine? If you haven't checked out my Instagram, I'll link it. Um, go check out my cooking series. It's called Bernard Doesn't Know How to Cook. <laughs> and we just completed um, season three and we're about to enter season four. And I just made an announcement at the virtual party, something special um, that's gonna happen. So if you're not already following, go on and follow. All right, let's just dig in sis okay so i kind of tore this box apart but we have some um crab fries it's like uh these are not a recommended um uh lemon pepper and it has like some blue crab on it and some um, something and this is like a garlic aioli a little sauce to put on it so like should i dip it should i douse it I'm gonna dip it because I can't. Okay. Let's dip it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. I don't really have like a formal dining table or anything, so. I'm trying not to spill on my rub that I also just got recently. I do have a towel on the floor so that I don't make a mess. Oh my gosh. All that aioli. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <clears throat> Let's go. Some blue crab up in here. I love it. I love french fries too. So, um, mm hmm Mm. Mm. I do like mukbangs that like where people talk. Do you like mukbangs where they just eat? Like I kind of like both to be honest. So I'm gonna do both. Sometimes I'll just eat. Sometimes I'll just um I'll talk. Sometimes I'll talk and eat. I know it's not good manners, but. Who gonna check me? I'm by myself. I'm by myself. Okay, we'll save that for our next episode. All right, let's dig in. In classic true Kim Thai fashion, we're gonna start with sausage. 
I think that's what she does. A little sausage. Okay, so I just let you know, I went to Boiling Crab and I got everything. Um, I got some king crab, some shrimp, some crawfish, mussels, corn sausage, potatoes, lemon, lime, cucumbers. Did I already say corn sausage and potatoes? Um, and then I have some egg here because, you know, that bee love life. I'm not a good egg peeler cracker, so just don't judge. Okay, and I got some rice here. Anyway, here we go. Did I get enough sauce? Did I get enough sauce? Mm hmm Followed by a cucumber. I should have diced them, but I just love it. Just being able to, like, got it in there. And then, gotta have some rice, hey, with the wooden spoon. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm full. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Good try. I wish you were here eating with me. This is so much more fun when you're, I don't know about fun. I don't know if I would say fun, but this, it's a, it's a better experience when you're dining in and not having to like take it to go in my opinion. Um, and so like I've eaten that boiling crab with Justin and like a bunch of my friends and my family I just love it. It's just like, it's a great time. It's a different time. So the fact that I'm just like in my living room on my couch eating in front of a camera is the next best thing. Thank goodness for FaceTime and Apple and all that jazz. I love shrimp. I don't know about you. A lot of people get real freaked out that it has like the head, excuse me, the shell and the tail on it. Like, listen, like uh, I'm Filipino and like my mom and dad, like this is how I grew up eating shrimp. Like my mom up until like a few years ago um, was peeling my shrimp at a Asian like restaurant, like a buffet. And I was like, mom, like you don't have to peel my shrimp. I was like, I'm an adult, like I'm grown, I could do it. Thank you though. And she was like, oh, I wanna do it. And I was like, go on, do it, I ain't gonna stop you, thank you. Anyway, so um, it is a lot of work, yes, I know, but it's, it's really worth it. So I like to strip the head off, um, and I like to suck on the head. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then I like to go in, mm -hmm. Some people do like the tail first and then, oh gosh, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm feeling a little rusty. Um, some people do the body and like the legs first. Listen, there's no right or wrong way. There's just eat it, okay? Some people eat it with like the shell on it. I can't, I just can't like the, the, it's crunchy and I just, I just can't. So, I mean, I probably could, but I just, I don't. Why? Um, y'all, I don't know if there's any. Oh, there it is. It's at the bottom. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. I forgot to squeeze lemon rain on it. Oh, this is why I can't be doing this for a living like these other mukbangers do. I'm so good at it. So good. So good. <clears throat> like looking at all of this, I know, I know to you it actually may not look a lot, like a lot, but it's a lot. Like to me, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm not gonna finish this. So one step at a time, okay? Just like life, just like one step at a time. I have a crawfish. So basically, these are like mini lobsters. They're like little baby lobsters. Um, I couldn't afford lobster today. Um, I'm just kidding. They were out of lobster. Um, so I got crawfish instead, which are like mini lobsters. So, and I grew up with crawfish. Um, my family used to call them crawdad, like crawfish. And so like they would go and like get their own crawfish. And I'd be like, and so I grew up on it, and so I just was like, Ugh. and then like I had, I didn't eat it for a while, and then I, I still don't really like them, but, um, I had to do it for for y'all, because, 
it's so much work for a tiny piece of meat. Like, I'm busy. So, yeah. It's good. But, like, that was so much work for a little piece of meat. I'm about to fall off this couch. I'm on, I'm on the edge. Okay, I'm about to, like... Great, now I'm on my knees, on my floor, in front of my couch, eating food on camera. Yes! The life. I'd be realizing that I'm just not squeezing any lime or lemon. Like, fired. Be lovely would be like, fired. Mmm. <laughs> oh i mean i got it mild but after it like sits for a little bit um the spice definitely has a chance to marinate up in here <clears throat> oh oh about it oh it's getting me getting me in this this ring like this ring light is hot getting me all right, here we go. I have a piece of scrap. I'm dipping it in that sauce. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon. Okay, squeeze it in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Next, we're gonna have a piece of palmetto. Oh my gosh! It. Oh my gosh! It just squirted somewhere past the butcher paper. I think onto my rug. Ooh, look at this sodium already and Cajun already affecting my face. Like, sodium and Cajun just makes me plump up. So, whatever. I'm sweating. I don't know how people do it. Oh my god. The sauce is getting all over my couch. I'm gonna have to go on rub doctors. So like this is a very messy experience and this is only a fraction of the mess y'all <clears throat> when i'm dining in having this experience say <laughs> mess absolute mess um i'm gonna save the corn for a little bit i love like letting the corn marinate and the sauce Ooh. I'm just rolling it up. You see how I'm rolling it up, you know? There was a sound, but I don't know what that was. <clears throat> Maybe my neighbor tell me to shut the... Uh... <laughs> All right. Oh, I should have a muscle. I'm just kidding. That's, that's not how it's pronounced. That's like muscle. <laughs> Doesn't exist either. Muscle. M U S S. E L L <laughs> See this is a problem like this is why I can't this is why I'm like not going on dates either because like I'll go and I'll just like talk and want to like know about that person it could be a friend date or a not friend date or a family date whatever date is a date but cuz I don't go on those kinds of dates and anyway I digress um, I talk a lot, if you haven't noticed, and sometimes it's because I get nervous, and so then I get full or just, like, not hungry because I'm, like, talking too much. So, what about you? Like, I know you're not, you're not really supposed to talk and eat at the same time, but, you know, like, when you're on a date, you're just, like, which, by the way, I don't know that I would take a first date to Boiling Crowd, let alone a second date. Like, we might have to already be dating for us to go to Boiling Crowd, but also... I don't know. Maybe I would. Like, I feel like you would learn a lot about a person on a first date if you went to Boiling Crab. So would you go to Boiling Crab on a first date? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's time to go in with an egg. I'm going to roll this egg. I already actually had two eggs for breakfast today. So this is like a lot of eggs. But listen... You gotta have hard boiled egg. I think it's to boil. Oh wow, this lighting be popping. Yes, lighting. 
I just want it to marinate for a little bit. Is that creepy? Probably. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. I like my eggs like soft boiled, medium boiled. Um, but I just didn't want it running all over the place and running from my mouth. Um, I'm full. We're gonna go in with the king crab leg, y'all. Imagine getting this is one of the legs on a crab. How many legs do crab? Have? How many legs do crabs have? How many? Wow. Well, I can't speak, but do they have like four legs on each side? Three legs. It doesn't matter if a, one of this is one king crab leg, like one. That's a big leg. Like imagine whether they had two legs or ten. Um, that's a big old crab. Like they're spiky, so you have to be very careful not to hurt yourself. Um, so I know BYOB goes in at the end. I got one! A little piece in there. A little piece in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tippy tip tip. Tippy tip tip. Hey, hey. Tippy tip tip. And then we're going to do a little lemon meringue because, oh my gosh, just squeezing me, squeezing me everywhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. that's good that's real good i do love a good king crab leg moment so you have to be careful because and they asked me if i wanted um crackers and shellers and i was like no i'm fine i'm fine i'm okay are you oh strong or whatever so the tricky part is, is like, oh, this is my workout for the day. Is there any more meat in here for me to attack? I know Kim Tai does not like to waste. Bernard. She does not like to waste what's in there. So I also don't want to waste, but also I want to get hurt. <laughs> right? Like... Hi, um, what brings you in today? I cut myself with a king crab leg. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, I actually don't know what, what part was next. Oh, I guess I could do whatever I want. You're right. I could do whatever I want. Um, uh, messy Jesse over here. I'm just gonna... Oh gosh, grab the skizzes, grab the skizzes up here, and I'm gonna go to work, 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 work. Oh, my arm's tired. Can you please come and peel and crack the rest of this? Oh, she tar, y'all. She tar. All right, let's squeeze some lime up in here this time. Oh, we might have a dry lime. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. There we go. A little bit. Mmm. 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 Mmm, praise him. Ooh, so good. Mmm. <sighs> so good. Wish we were here. Mmm. Ah! That one didn't have anything in it, bro. I must have ran away. Or maybe it's like at the bottom of the bag somewhere, which means it's around here somewhere. When you eat it with the shell, the sauce, you see that sauce? 
um, so like you dip this your muscle in the sa'osa, and then you do a little squeeze to make squeeze squeeze. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. He was right. That was the way to go. Did I eat all that potato? Did I really eat it? Y'all ate it already? <sighs> Love a good crunch, de crunch, crunch, crunch. <clears throat> I watch someone eat seafood on YouTube I'm like I want it and so I was like here I am I'm living my best life making it happen and I just wanted to share it with all of you so oh burpity you make burp over here excuse me um thank you so much for joining me again I hope you're safe and you're well and I'm sending you love light and positivity always anyway I hope you enjoyed this till next time